Hello everyone, this is Valencia Belsevichus and today I will show you how to create pockets for the steel joists. So for that what I will do, I will just go to the file, new family and I will just create new family from imperial template this time and I will use this family template for the face based families. Open it. Here I will just simply draw void. I will draw this rectangle shape. So now I have the void in my family and I really would like this to go into the host and I would like to cut host with this void. So it could be like so and I could load this into a project and start using it. But actually I would like to control the size of it so for that I'll add a couple of reference planes and dimensioning constraints. So what I do here is just that I'm adding a couple of reference planes and then I lock the sides of the void to these reference planes. Actually it would be better to cut the host after that. It would be a little bit more easy to lock them. Uh, and here yeah I, I just assign parameter to control this dimension and other dimensions as well. just one for the length, for the height and just uh, additional top offset if needed to cut a little bit higher from the insert point. Okay so let's change some values like depth maybe it should be like five inches here the length uh, should be maybe like one and then the height should be something like so and let's click on OK. Inside of this family I would like to have some nested family so for that I will load one emit uh, which I already have like load family I will pick this family click on open just gonna load it into my project and I will place it somewhere by using this component command just drop it like so. Let's take a look to reference plane. Align it now. And let's adjust the length of the void. So it will be 1.6. And then go to the left view. Let's take a look how does that look. It should be a little bit closer to the edge. Probably like so. So I think my pocket family is ready. I will just save it. File, save as family. Just pocket, save. I will also give it a type name. So I will name it by length and height maybe like so. And now load it into a project and we can start placing it at the defined position. It's just that if you try to do that in Revit, probably it's not so easy to um, do that manually like so because I really don't catch a good position. So you can go to the section view and, and do that uh, with Revit simply like so by copying the elements and, and so on. But then you have a lot of panels and uh, different orientation and you have more families so it's maybe better to automate that and we have a tool for that so I'm just going to delete these and I will go ahead here to smart connections and I will create configuration to place those families so let's go to configuration here I will pick wall category I will say create new rename video steel joist pockets all right and then I'll hide line based elements I'll leave just point based elements and then I will say I want to place my family 
this one, the one I have loaded, insert details and I want to place it on the left side of the wall. I want to use some rules how to place it, so some start and end offsets and just uh, let's say number of the elements which should be created and then it should be uh, created with some offset let's say from the top of the wall so that's what I do and I will say save and click on OK and then I can select a couple of walls and say that insert elements and choose the same configuration which I have created and insert details alright and that's the result right so I have uh, these elements distributed at the same height at the same location uh, just based on my configurations so that's a quick way to place your connections on the walls with this tool but um, what if I have steel joists in my model so I can use them to track exact position of my pockets so in this joist family what I did already I have added this nested family inside you see this is structural connection family if we'll take a look to this joist family I just modified standard rivet family and added this one as a structural connection element family name is support connection and the type name is top so that's important if I want to place my pockets and um, so let's try to insert previous configuration on this fall so just insert and it's going to place them at the defined positions uh, but I would like those to match position of a joist so what I will do I'll select this one and click on modify and see the configuration and I will add some other options like uh, search to the left and right for other connection elements and I will be looking for that one inside the choice family so I'll pick this one and I will say that I should be looking to both directions and the searching distance will be one feet and so only if I will find this one I will place this one alright and then I'm just gonna make it as a center anyway it will be placed uh, at the center of element so if I will make this kind of settings I will click on update like so and you see these are following the position of a joist now actually it's following the position of this one so just inserting my family at the position of this one so I have pretty nice connection here like I want it to be so these are three ways how to place this kind of families um, choose the one which you think is the best for you so if you like this kind of tutorial you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to our newsletters and we'll meet you in the next videos bye AGA CAD Building BIM Together